Hey there, thanks for joining us. It's Alicia and Keith of Above All Equipment Sales here. Keith, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. So today um, we're talking about school districts having scissor lifts. So should they have them on facility? Uh, yeah, they definitely should. Um, okay. They all need one um, for sure. So we do, this is one of our key demos or whatever you want to call it, clients. We get a ton of school um, districts. So a lot of them, they'll have maybe one scissor lift, like a school district, and they'll have to okay. shuffle it um, between the high school and whatever, elementary schools. So almost every school district can use like at least an extra scissor lift or probably two. <laughs> so mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're definitely um, one of our bigger um, clientele for sure. Okay. Cool. And is there a specific, um, like a typical size that the that schools usually go for, or is it just kind of depending on their needs? They normally go for the um, the, the the kind of the normal sizes. So the 19 foot narrow. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times they'll step up and go with the 26 foot narrow because the gymnasiums that that can actually get to the top. Um, of most gymnasiums to do lighting and other kind of work up there. And also a lot of them now are going with the little runabouts, the GR20s as well. So um, basically those are the three. I don't see them getting into bigger ones um, typically. It's usually those smaller ones. All right, awesome. Well, thanks for telling yeah. me a little bit more about that. And so you answer my question, schools definitely should have a scissor lift, whether you have one for each of, um, you know, the high school, the elementary, or if you have one that just kind of rotates back and forth. So if, if you work for a school district and you're looking to get a scissor lift, make sure that you get in contact with Above All Equipment Sales. They'll be able to hook you up. So you can go online at aboveallequipmentsales.com. Um, also, if you have any questions or anything, make sure you reach out to Keith. You can give him a call. He'll be able to answer any of those questions for you. And um, stay tuned for future videos as well. Thank you. Take care.